Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Dwarf Fortress Episode 7. So I let a little bit of time pass between last episode and this. Uh, I did a little cleanup of our dining hall here. Uh, mainly I wanted to enclose it with doors and walls to make it a proper dining hall. Add in the rest of our tables and chairs and statues. I added a, I made up this wall of a couple of different materials in case uh, dwarves passing by happen to see their favorite and got a happy thought out of that. That's why it kind of looks a little weird. But we still have our fantastic KFT here uh, with the turkey uh, outside as sort of like its billboard for, you know, to entice those who might be hungry into it. Now, the other thing we got um, is a new wave of migrants, although wave may be a little bit... Uh, a little bit under. We, there's two people in this one. We didn't gain a lot of wealth between last time and this one, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, we'll check them out in just a moment. One thing I want to carve out is we, we are out of fuel right now, so we need to get our wood burners on. Uh, so I'm going to get a wood burners over here, and we're going to just get a stuck pile of wood in here, uh, when the, the outer shell, the outer ring rather, once it's carved out, will be our stockpile. That way our furnaces and smelters can go about their business and keep doing their thing. Now then, let's take a look at our new migrants. So we've got these two. Sirol here has no real skills. <laughs> real winner here. Uh, and then over here, Doran um, is a novice f um, pump operator uh, fisher dwarf here. With a smattering of other skills, although we have so many other dwarves that are better at these, it's actually the fisher dwarf that's going to be. So you know what? I've decided these two are going to be our fishermen. Uh, one is to fish, and the other one will clean the fish. So we're going to set them up down here by the river. We're going to set like a little outdoor hut for them. Uh, so they're not going to be uh, living primarily in, in the, uh, the main location here. We're going to have like a little area for them down here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to specify a fishing area. Like right along down here. I do see all those sunberries. I am tempted to br build a bridge so that we can tap into them. But first things first. Now then, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build a couple of workshops here. Farming, fishery workshop. We're going to build it like right here. And we'll make it out of logs. Why not? So our fisherman is going to catch raw fish. The raw fish need to get processed in the fishery to become edible. Um, then that, uh, that, should, that should do it for us. It also give us access to shells, depending on what we fish up from the river. So we're going to get ourselves a stockpile of, we'll start with a, a stockpile here of just regular fish, of like raw fish rather. We'll do food, unprepared fish, and then we'll get another stockpile, say over here, food, prepared fish. And then dwarves can bring it all the way back to the fort when they're good and ready. All right, so let's assign our new dwarves to this. We'll go to labor, fisher dwarves. Valenrook randomly is, a, oh, cause they were, yeah, I, we're still gonna go with the Doran as our dedicated fisher dwarf. And then once this fishery g gets placed, the other new arrival will be our fish cleaner. And while both kind of uh, on the novice level here, that will, uh, that'll be our, our, our mainstay here. And actually, to help clean up the area, let's let's knock down a few trees. Because eventually we're going to turn this into like a little fort area. All right, so now we've got here, Cyril, there we go. Cyril will be the one and only fishery uh, worker to work in this place. And so once Doran here catches a, a fish or two, there should be fish. That's one of the reasons why we went and... Uh, did, uh, you know, went for the, the uh, stream in the corner of our map here. Yeah, I don't know how much of that wood we're actually going to be getting. Yeah, the merchants will be leaving soon. That's fine. More goats. Fantastic. I just want to make sure this is all working properly. Mm, nothing, uh, nothing doing just yet. There should be fish in, in the river here. 
Maybe I'll extend the fishing area just to let them go like that. Give them a little bit extra here and maybe a little bit extra here. And what the hey, we'll include the pond in case there's something randomly in there. Right, well, while we are waiting for our fish to do their thing, or rather the fish are dwarves to do their thing. All right, our mm squad is smoothing things out, which is good. We do want our area to look nice. We do have a few other things that we want to work with when it comes to wood, though I think I might make my wood uh, shelter um, elsewhere. Now, one thing we do want to make, uh, since we know for a fact that's going to be a thing, is toys. Toys is going to be next year's hotness. So why don't we, while we're at it, rock do we can we make rock toys yes we can we just need to make sure yeah make them out of silt stone that way we're not using up our ores for toys now granted we might smelt down those ores and make metal toys all right they're off rock doors have been made uh we do need an output stockpile for these toys let's put them down here finished goods toys of all materials. Any types of toys go there. Right, let's check out our fisher dwarves real quick, see how they're doing. Because one thing I do want to do eventually, because as our fort grows, and more specifically as our fort grows in wealth, um, let's see, do we have, nope, they're still fishing. Oop, I think we found something. Yeah, raw rainbow trout. So now, yeah, prepare raw fish, we'll call the other dwarf. Should tell them to prepare here. And that should give us a cooked uh, rainbow trout in just a moment. Yeah, I think the there's, there's not a quality rating when it comes to prepared fish. It's more about how quickly they do it, or rather how slowly they do it. Uh, Siltstone toy hammer, nice. How much is that worth? Out of curiosity, because we know they're gonna be worth like 200% more when the traders come next year. Oh wait, we got more, we got more migrants. It wasn't just those two, they were just the early arrivers. Siltstone's toy hammer is worth 50, which is not bad for something that only uh, weighs two. That's not too bad at all. Now let's go check out our new migrants, see who else we got coming to the fort. All right, we have a bone carver. I think they're one of the new ones. A bone carver is very much useful. We have some herbalists. Doran's our fisher dwarf. Prepare raw. Jet stream and then Melville, eh? What do you have? You have no... Yeah, I think we're going to start... Once we get our fuel going again, we're going to get a proper military squad going. We're not going to disband the mmm squad. They're still useful. Hmm. No sunberry seeds. That's unsettling that there is no sunberry, sunberry seeds. All right, we should migrate the still downstairs. And let's, let's um, actually milk animal, repeat, make cheese, repeat. Get that uh, cycle going. So one thing we're going to do is build ourselves a still down here. We'll put a little thing there, which will eventually become a door. Get a little wall here. Yeah, we'll do construction wall. Yeah, this will be our door right here. Wall, one, two, three, silt stone, and done. And that way we can have like a little fruit storehouse down here just for the sunberries and other gathered fruit. I haven't carved this out, but yeah, they're still working on the smoothing. I did give them that job. There we go. All right, couple of doors. We got plenty of doors. All right, now we get our stockpile. Uh, now this is going to be an output stockpile up here. So this is going to be an input stockpile. Custom food. We're going to do plants. And basically all the stuff. We want sunberries. Actually, we want basically everything that's a berry. And then fruit. It uh, doesn't have to be all berries, but all fruit is basically a uh, brewable thing here. And now we'll grab this, uh, take from here, 
Do we have a superior brewmaster? No, everyone's kind of just, everyone kind of shares the burden when it comes to brewing. So I'm okay leaving it open to whomever is available to do some brewing. And then let's do a work task, a recurring work task. Brew, drink from plant, brew, drink from fruit. That way we can just get tons and tons of drinks. Yeah, unrotten fermentable is greater than 10. There we go. That way they'll, those will recur as needed. All right, we do, since we do have a few more people, we do need to get a few more bedrooms carved out as well. I think it is high time we do another branch off of here. Oh yeah, we also, now that we have doors, there's our little impromptu office. We'll make the, uh, the next round of bedrooms go down this way. I'll be right back as I finish these markings. Okay, got these mapped out. The other thing we want to do, and, and this is a good habit to get yourself into, a little pro tip here, is whenever you're mapping out more bedrooms, uh, drop work orders to fill them with the appropriate amount of items. So bed, we just dropped 15 rooms. So we want 15 beds. Cabinets, again, all rock, 15 of those. Coffers, 15 of those and doors i know we have a few extra doors but i i want to make 15 more and then for the time being we can stop um stop making the toys just because we're this craft dwarfs workshop is going to be that and i also want to to divert some of my toy making here we go we need a uh, wood burner a wood furnace and let's get some uh Get some of those carved out. And this is just gonna be all wood. This will burn wood into charcoal. And then charcoal will be used for smelting and what have you. Now, the question becomes, what do we smelt with our newfound stuff? Um, part of me wants to do something special with that rose gold. Because that rose gold is going to we could make a, a rose gold, um, a rose gold crutch. That that'd be kind of uh, hard to uh, to work with. Other objects, rose gold. What else can we do? I mean, we could do a rose gold toy. That could be that could be um, worth quite a bit of money uh, with the whole toy bonus. Yeah, I think it canceled on me. Do we have do we have um, stuff now? We gotta wait for the actual charcoal to show up. There's the charcoal, okay. And there we go. So let's try that again. Rose gold toy. Be like one of those executive toys on the desk. All right, Dana, let's see what you got for us. What, what do you make? Ooh, rose gold toy ax worth 300, which is going to be worth double so that should be 600 when we go to trade that. Not bad, considering what we bought the rose gold bar from. Not bad at all. You know what, Dana? One, one good thing deserves another. Why don't we do... We, we make ourselves some, some billion stuff. We'll, we'll make use of the iron in, in due time. You know what? We're gonna make our, we are going to make ourselves something out of iron. We are going to make ourselves a proper military squad. We're going to make more than we actually need at the moment. Because maybe it it would be a good thing. So we're gonna we're gonna do some work orders here. Let's see. Um, you know what? Iron is good for axes. Axe. There there are, there are some better materials when it comes to war hammers. Spears are are good either way. But if we have ourselves access to iron, you can't go too wrong with axes. And since axes seem to be on everyone's minds, battle axe. Uh, four giant, and we're gonna make ten of them because a, a full squad is worth that. We'll start with the axes, and then we'll go to the armor from there, and that's gonna be made out, made out of iron as well. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. How much is this toy boat worth? <laughs> Not bad. Fifty doubles to a hundred, and that's just out of the junk rock that we've got lying around here. Nice. We do need to get a gem cutter up um, 
Heck, maybe in, embossing some gems into these things. Actually, that's not a bad idea. That's really not a bad idea. If we, if we specifically emboss the gems onto the toys, the gems should get a, a hit with the same multiplier effect as the, as the toys, making them even more valuable. Yes, yes, that should do nicely. All right, then in that case, let's dig out and plan out our ge some gem cutter stuff. So we need a gem cutter and we need a gem embosser. So the gem cutter will just get any raw gem as their thing, but the gem embosser will get the toy. Uh, so basically any toys will be brought there and we'll tell it to only draw from those things so that only the toys get embossed with gems. Be like those, uh, that, 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 that one year where Tickle Me Elmo was, was the, the, uh, the hot toy. Um, so people were like, you know, selling Tickle Me Elmos with like a, a, a jewel necklace and then selling the whole package for like thousands of dollars. Because they, I guess they wanted to get rid of the toy, but also, you know, beef up the sale. You know, if you're going to buy that, you're going to buy everything else. Oh yeah, let's, um, up here. Because we want to get our plants. Yeah, let's, um, let's get rid of the stockpile so that that stuff makes its way down there. We do need to get somebody to work on all the bones here to turn those into crafts. I mean, we have somebody is what I mean, but we just need to get them set up with the proper workshop. Oh yeah, let's let's remove that. You're kind of in the middle of, of Nowheresville here. And yeah, so we got all this. We got to smooth it all though. And I know there, there was some back and forth about like, oh, well, you know, in these cases you can build your furniture and then smooth versus not smoothing versus yes, no. And honestly, I'm, I want to smooth first. It's my creature. It's my, it's my force of habit. It looks like uh, smoothing takes priority over digging, which is unfortunate because I should just let them finish digging and then I'd smooth. But soon we will have some, oh, no, never mind. We got more digging. That's good. We can get our gem cutting set up. I don't know who our gem cutters will be. Uh, we might have one or two individuals that can do that. Um, so workshops, jeweler, silt stone, since that's in the area. We just need somebody to nick that corner. All right, well, I guess this is going to be our gem cutter. So what we're going to do is we're going to do ring around the rosy here. And it's just going to be under gems, rough gem, and also rough glass. Why not? So that's where all the raw materials are going to appear. Um, do we have a gem cutter? Novice gem cutter. Valid Rook is one. Dana. Oh, Chickets, actually. I mean, I don't want to distract him from his job as, uh, as an mm squatter. Yeah, because I do need the M squad not to be tied down. All right, we're still smoothing. We're still smoothing. All right, we do need a bone carver. Yeah, these are all of our toys. I don't know why the toy stockpile is not getting filled, but we have other places for it to be anyway, so that's fine. So yeah, let's set a new task to cut gems. We'll see who it recruits. Oh, our stone crafter, huh? Fair enough. Oh, thank goodness. All right, now we can get another jeweler down and actually encrust the gems here. And now down here, let's try our, let's try again for the toys because this is what we want to emboss. Toys. We'll see if that brings them over here. All right, and this one's going to draw from this stockpile. But I'll hold off on encrusting anything until somebody brings a toy down here. Because I know we have plenty of them. All right, I just enabled a whole bunch more things. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. Siltstone toy boat. Let's do it. Encrust finished goods with cut gems. Now, who's going to be our, in, uh, our, our, our engraver here, our encruster, if you will? We want gem setters. Actually, Dana is a pretty good gem setter. Or Valenrook. But they're part of our um, squad. 
Yeah, you know what, Dana, I'm, I'm, I'm drafting you to be our gem setter. Now, what I'll look into for next episode is whether or not we have a... Uh, all right, we got our beds completed here. I'm just going to wait for all of these to finish up and then drop all the bedrooms. Got plenty of food, plenty of drink. Though I have not seen anyone... Oh, nope, never mind. Hey, sunberries! Have we been... Needs logs. Okay, we're out of logs. We gotta cut down some more trees, which is fine. We want to be careful of what trees we cut. This is where I wish I, we had high, uh, high wood trees. Because high wood trees don't provide fruit, so you can cut them down without worrying about denying yourself fruits or nuts. Don't want to cut down the apples. Feather trees are always good to cut down. That should do it. Dana, where are you? So I don't see anyone... Uh, I don't see Dana working, or, well, I don't know what Dana's doing. What are you doing, Dana? No job. How did this get canceled then? Encrust finished goods with cut gems. That should. Yeah, that got auto, that got instantly canceled. Needs cut gems in linked stockpile. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, now, now I get it. So now we do take from here. Okay, so no. Um, yeah, so this, this needs to have uh, finished goods and gems. Cut gems all. There we go. Now we can encrust finished goods with cut gems. I want to see at least one of these things get encrusted before we... Uh, before we end the episode here. All right, looks like it looks like he they're on the on the task here. Come on down, Dana. There we go. Let's see what you make, Dana. Oh, you're encrusting the rose gold toy axe. This should be good. It's a finely crafted rose gold toy axe. It is encircled with bands of table cut carnelians worth about a thousand. Nice. That's what we're talking about. All right. So in our next episode, we dig a little bit deeper and maybe get our lumber industry going a little bit more aggressively now that we've got this. And also fire up our forges, make sure they're doing making use of the uh, charcoal that we've got. Um, and we'll go from there. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, it's been Pinstar signing out. See ya!